Hi guys, welcome to this new video and in this video I will talk about something really interesting happening in artificial intelligence domain. Most of the time you heard a question that how machine learning models make predictions. What if I told you there is a type of model that uses probability theory to not only make predictions but also explain the reasoning behind them. Because in today's world and in future we need explainable AI that explain and give reasoning about its prediction so that it can be trusted and safe for scalable use. So welcome to the world of Bayesian networks. They make explainable AI possible. We'll explore that Bayesian networks, how they work and the applications in real world scenarios. If you are interested in artificial intelligence, data science and machine learning, you don't want to miss this video. So let's get started. Bayesian networks are a type of probabilistic graphical models that can be used for a variety of tasks from predictions and classifications to decision making and diagnosis. They are based on Bayes theorem which allows us to update our beliefs about an event based on the new information. If you don't know about Bayes theorem or want to refresh the concept I put the video link in description and you can see in i button as well. So how does Bayesian network work at a very high level? A Bayesian network is a directed acyclic graph that represents a set of variables and their conditional dependencies. Each node in the graph represents a variable and each edge represents a conditional dependency between two variables. Bayesian networks are particularly useful when dealing with complex, uncertain and incomplete data. They enable us to model and reason about uncertain knowledge in a formal and quantitative way, making them ideal for the use of decision-making scenarios. The architecture of Bayesian networks consists of two main parts. The first is structure, second is parameters. The structure represents the graphical representation of the dependencies between variables, while the parameters represents the probability distribution of each variable given its parent variable. So let's just take a quick example to explain the Bayesian network in the medical diagnosis systems. The Bayesian network would represent the relationship between symptoms, diseases and test results. For example, if a patient has a cough and fever, the network would predict the probability of different diseases that could cause those symptoms. The parameters of the Bayesian network are the probability distributions that quantify the relationship between each variable and its parent means the, they will quantify the relationship between the symptoms and the disease. Each variable is assumed to be conditionally independent of its non-descendant given its parents, meaning the probability distribution depends only on the value of its parents. Now, let's take a deeper look in how Bayesian networks work in classification predictions and season making. And then we can explain the Bayesian networks is terms and concepts that are used in the Bayesian networks and then we take an example of customer purchase system by using Bayesian networks. So let's start explaining about the uh, how Bayesian networks work in classification tasks. The Bayesian network is trained on a set of labeled examples to learn the probability distributions of each variable given its parent variable. Once the network is trained, it can be used to classify new instances based on the variable values. In the prediction task, Bayesian network is used to estimate the value of a variable given the value of its parent variable. For example, in weather condition systems, the Bayesian networks can be used to estimate the probability of rain tomorrow given that the current weather conditions. In decision making task, Bayesian networks is used to determine the best course of action based on the probabilities of different outcomes. For example, in medical diagnosis systems, the Bayesian networks can be used to determine the probability of different medical conditions given that the patient symptoms and medical history, helping doctors make informed decisions about treatment options. So now let's talk about the basic terms that are uh, helpful in the Bayesian networks. The first is conditional probability, which represents the probability of one event occurring given that the other event already occurred in the past. In Bayesian networks, each node represents a variable and the probability of the node taking on a certain value depends on the value of its parent node. Next, we have the concept of marginal property, 
which represents the probability of a single event occurring regardless of the values of other events meaning marginal property is used to calculate the probability of a particular node taking on a certain value without considering the values of other nodes and another important concept is markov property which states that the probability of node depends only on the values of its parent nodes not on the value of its non parent nodes this property allows us to represent complex systems with a relatively small number of variables so let's start with the uh, example of the customer making a purchase or not so first we start with the prior distribution which represents our beliefs about the probability of a customer making a purchase before we have seen any data this prior distributions can be based on past experience or domain knowledge next we update our prior distributions with the new data using bayes theorem bayesian theorems allows us to calculate the posterior distribution which represents our beliefs about the probability of a customer making a purchase given the new data we observed to cal calculate the posterior distribution we multiply the prior distribution by the likelihood function which measures the probability of observed data given the model parameters we then normalize the results to obtain a probability distribution the posterior distribution now becomes the prior distribution for the next round of the bayesian interface as we continue to update our beliefs on the new information once we have the idea of our bayesian network we assign probabilities to each variable based on the prior knowledge or data finally finally we use bayes theorem to update the probabilities based on the new information let's say we have a bayesian network that represents the probability of rain based on two variables cloudiness and humidity we assign the probabilities based on historical data and we get the probability of 70% for rain if it's cloudy and humid but what if we observe that it's not humid we can update the probabilities using bayes theorem which tells us that the new probability of rain given the evidence of no humidity is 33% this is just a simple example but bayesian networks can be used for much more complex problems like medical diagnosis predicting stock prices in fact bayesian networks are becoming increasing pop very popular day by day in data science and ai research let's take a look at the coding example on how to implement a bayesian network in python as i already gave you an example of uh, uh, whether customer is making a purchase or not in theoretical way let's put that example into the python and we will build a kind of a, a bayesian network in it using the pgmpy library suppose we have a data set of customer information for an e-commerce store and we want to build a bayesian network to predict whether a customer will make a purchase based on their data gender and browsing history first we will import the necessary libraries such as numpy pandas and pgmpy which is a python library for working with probabilistic models and then we will create a new bayesian model using the bayesian model class in pgmpy we will define the structure of the model using add nodes and add edges method then we will define the conditional probability distributions using the tabular cpd class and after all these things conditional probability dis distributions are already defined using the tabular cpd and then we add to the model using the add cpds method finally we predict the probability of a customer making a purchase given their gender age and browsing history if a customer is making a purchase of $1200 there is a 82% pro uh, probability that he is making a purchase so they are especially useful in situations where we need to make decisions based on uncertain and incomplete information bayesian networks we can make not only predictions but also understand the reason behind those predictions so whether you are you are a data scientist and ai researcher or just someone interested in machine learning projects bayesian networks are exciting and powerful tool that can help you make sense of complex data and make informed decisions thanks for watching this video don't forget to like subscribe and share to for more content on ai and data science